the horror, the horror. In much of the world, the animals that strike fear into the human heart tend to be large or extra large. Consider the crocodile, the cobra, the anaconda, the lion, the hippo, the tiger. In the Adirondack Mountains of northern New York, the most fearsome menace is the black fly. Standing on the summit of the human body, they like to rasp for blood where the skin is thin, on the ears, the scalp, the temples, the eyelids, the back of the neck. During May and June, black flies rise from the cold, bubbling mountain streams and seek out the blood of mammals. Big? Hardly. Numerous? That would be an understatement. As with mosquitoes, it's the female black fly who bites. Would-be mothers need blood to produce viable batches of eggs. To enjoy beautiful northern mountains during black fly season, people must adapt. Some wear bug suits, special jackets with tight-fitting cuffs and built-in head nets. Some try to ignore the biting hordes, but it's not easy. Children who play outside must either protect themselves or surrender their blood. Black flies like to dine in privacy and are famous for slipping inside hats and clothing. Bird watchers favor bug bonnets developed and manufactured by Adirondack craftswoman Marjorie Swift. Her hats are far easier to see out of than the usual Army Navy type. And if the bugs are really bad, you can drink coffee through them and strain out drowned black flies in the process. Think it might be nice to sit in an Adirondack chair and read a novel during black fly season? Think again. No story, no matter how engaging, offers sanctuary from thought of the blood-lapping hordes. Picture a father or mother sharing a picnic with his children on a radiant spring day. Hey, how about over here, you guys? Right here. Let's have the tablecloth. Thanks. To that picture, add black flies interested in a different sort of meal. The outing that began in ecstasy ends in agony. Insect repellents help a little. We rub them on and hope for the best. Of all those who donate blood to the black fly, none suffers more than the fisherman or fisherwoman. Pity the brave or foolish soul who ventures out with a fishing pole, but leaves behind the bug bonnet, the repellent, the long sleeve shirt, and the long pants. These make the difference between holding onto your lifeblood or surrendering it wholesale. On an epic day, the black flies are so bad that frenzy sets in. People agitated by the vampires sometimes take extreme measures to avoid them. In the worst case, some lose not only their blood, but their minds. The horror, the horror.